everyone. So in this video, we're going to be using multivariable calculus techniques to find the formula for the volume of a sphere. We'll be using double integrals in this video and triple integrals in the next video. So let's just start by drawing our xyz coordinate grid. I'm going to draw a small xyz coordinate grid in our black marker. And we're going to call this x, y, z. Now we're going to draw the top half of the sphere, the hemisphere, that will serve as our function. So the equation for this hemisphere is given by z equals radical um, a squared minus x squared minus y squared, where a, let's define a, a is going to be the radius of our circle, of our sphere, rather. So now we're going to be using double integrals and we're going to be using instead of just the typical double integrals we'll be using polar coordinates because it'll make our calculations a lot easier so we know that in polar coordinates we have function of x y r times dr d theta what are the limits for r going from 0 to 8 right from the inside to the outside and the limits for theta is going to be going from the positive x axis all the way around so basically 0 to 2 pi um, now what we want to do is f of x y is here but we want to convert this to something in terms of r and theta. So we know this this can be written as a squared minus x squared plus y squared. And we know that in polar coordinates, r squared equals x squared plus y squared. So this again can be written as a squared minus r squared. Uh, so good. So now we have all the parts we need to solve this problem. We're going to rewrite this 0 to a radical a squared minus r squared times the r dr d theta. And we're going to be using u substitution to take our next step. So u equals a squared minus r squared. So that negative du over 2 equals r dr. And here's the r dr term. And so we're going to, I'm going to take the negative 1 half of the negative du over 2 and move to the very outside. So we're going to have 0 to 2 pi. I'm going to leave these limits blank for just a second because uh, I want to convert them in terms of u. We're going to have radical u because this inside quantity we defined as u right here um let's move this up radical u and r dr became du and we have a d theta so now the limits are going to be in terms of u so when we plug in zero into this u equation it's going to be a squared and when we plug in a into here we're going to get zero so now we're just going to integrate this as normal we're going to go over here and it's going to become a negative one half integral from zero to two pi and it's we're going to evaluate um we're going to take the integral of radical u, which is 2 thirds u to the 3 over 2, evaluated from a squared to 0. So this right here is going to give us negative 1 half, integral from 0 to 2 pi. Um, and when we put in 0 and a cubed in here, we get negative 2 thirds a cubed d theta. We're going to take this constant, negative 2 thirds, and move it to the outside, which is going to combine with this negative of 1 half and became a 1 third. So 1 third, integral from 0 to 2 pi, this a cubed is in the inside, d theta. And when we take this move up here, I should use a bigger paper next time, uh, we're going to have 1 third. And this, when we take the integral of this, since this is with respect to theta, this is a constant, so we're going to have a cubed theta, 0 to 2 pi. And when we do that, we're going to have, again, moving up, we're going to have 2 pi. We're going to have 2 pi a cubed over 3. And remember, this is the for, uh, this is this gives us the volume of this half of the sphere, the top half. So simply, we'll just multiply this by 2, and we get 4 pi over 3 a cubed, which we know as the volume of our sphere.